A few of you have asked me in my AC fixing videos quite a few times to make a video on the Emerson Sure Switch, which is basically a universal electronic replacement to the conventional mechanical contactor, whose lifespan is supposedly five times more than a regular contactor. And I believe it, these things are actually an upgrade. They're not kidding around. This, in my opinion, is better in all aspects than a regular conventional contactor. Really the only downside of this thing is that it's a little bit more bulky than a regular contactor. Other than that, everything about this is better. So if you've replaced your contactor a few times and it keeps going out, if you have brownouts in your area, which is a frequent occurrence, it happens a couple times a year or a couple times a season, or if you have a constant ant or bug problem getting into your contactor, then this right here is a good solution for you. It has a time delay on it, it has brownout protection, and it also is completely sealed up. It has optical sensors instead of the regular contacts. It's completely sealed so no bugs can get into it, and it doesn't buzz, it doesn't make any of the clunking noises when it activates. This thing is quiet, uses less energy, and overall it's just a much better design than a conventional contactor. It also has a little error flash code LED light right here too, to show you what the status of the thing is. So before I go ahead and install this thing, I just want to quickly look at it. So on this side, it's all labeled. You got L1, L2, run, common. Everything is labeled, which makes it really nice. Here's the hard start capacitor terminal, fan common, crankcase heater, if you got one, capacitor. So everything is labeled. You got your buttons right here. The test button is pretty cool. After we install it, I can try it. So unlike a conventional contactor where you manually have to press it in, this one, you just press this button and it turns on the compressor and the fan for a couple of seconds to make sure they're running or make sure that you have everything wired up correctly. You got little dip switches for the time delay if you want that on or off. So basically if the 240 volt power is interrupted or the 24 volt power is interrupted, this thing will go into a three minute time delay before it turns back on to protect the unit. And then you have brown out protection as well. If it detects that the voltage is lower than it should be, it will also delay the startup of the unit. And then you have a count button. When you press that, the LED starts flashing to show you how many times the air conditioner has been activated ever since this has been installed. And in the box, it also comes with the manual and a sticker that you could put somewhere inside the unit or on the inside of the door after you install this. Has the LED flash codes and then it briefly explains what the buttons do. And the manual from it is actually really nice. Very well made. So it's in multiple different languages of course. A breakdown of the thing itself. Of the sure switch. And what I like is that it has a really nice wiring diagram with all the different options or scenarios that you might run into. You got the four wire condenser fan, three wire condenser fan, and if you have a two wire hard start kit or a three wire hard start kit, it shows you how you would wire it up in all of these scenarios. So with the help of this, I'm gonna go ahead and install my Emerson sure switch and see how it works. So first things first, let's turn the power off and verify that it's off. Otherwise, this will be way too much refreshment, or I should say more refreshing than I would like it if you get zapped. And then you loosen these four screws and the base comes off from the body. And what I like to do is instead of taking all the wires off, I just take the contactor off and I move it to the side and then I go wire by wire. So let's take this old one off. And I discharged the capacitor previously, but another good idea when you're doing this, if you accidentally touch the capacitor terminals, you could get shocked. So it's good to short them out with just a nut driver or a screwdriver, just like this. I'm probably gonna want the wires to go from the top so I can see all the labels right here instead of the bottom right here. And plus all the words are facing this way too. So that would be like this. Like that. Like that. 
one screw is actually pretty tight, so I'm not even gonna bother with the second screw. Otherwise you could just do two to make it more secure, but this one's nice and tight actually. So I'll leave it like that. Let's put the body back on. Okay, so we got the new contactor or sure switch in. So let's go ahead and do the 24 volt wires first. That's these guys on the side that go to the contactor coil, usually the thinner gauge wires. Put both of them off and it doesn't matter which one goes where, but you want both of these to go right here on the bottom to the common and the Y. Put one there and put the other right over here, just like that. And then the two wires, the two black wires, they could be a different color, but typically they're two black wires coming from the house and into the contactor. These two guys, they're gonna be your line one and line two, L1, L2. And once again, both of these don't really matter either, which one goes into L1 and which one goes into L2. So we'll just take both of them off. Hopefully they will reach. Nice, okay, I do have enough room for it to go around and go up from the top. Otherwise I would have had to flip this over after all or put it on its side, which I didn't really want to do. So let's stick this one into here and put the other one on the other one. So L1 and L2, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and tighten these right away. There you go, let's give them a tug. Okay, they're in there securely. So that's the easy part, L1 and L2. And then from here, let's see what other wires we got here, it would be best to consult the wiring diagram. All these black wires, these two right here, I already looked at my wiring diagram previously. The black wires are gonna be my common from the fan and the compressor, and the yellow ones are gonna be the run. So if we look at our wiring diagram, the common that comes from the dual capacitor and goes into the sure switch, goes into this terminal right here. So the common that goes from the capacitor, which is this right here, we'll take this off and this common will go right over here. See how it says cap right there? So according to the wiring diagram that this thing came with, that goes there. Next up, we got our common wires. So once again, let's just consult with our wiring diagram. So the compressor common will go to the common on the sure switch, which is gonna be right over here. So it's gonna go underneath this lug screw. The common from the fan will go also to a fan terminal right in that same section, the common. So let's go ahead and do that first. And since this is the fork style, I like to just crimp down on them like this. That way I don't have to cut it off and strip it. And then I just stick it underneath the screw and tighten it all down. So that was the common from our compressor. Right there, and it's labeled as C. 
So that's nice and secure. Next one is gonna be the fan, which in my case is gonna be this wire right over here. So let's take the fan wire off. And that will go to the terminal label, labeled as fan common, which is this dude over here. And then I also have a black wire that's from the start capacitor. This is a three wire start capacitor. So let's consult our wiring diagram once again. So this is number five, the black wire, goes to also the common, but on the other side right over there. So I'll pull this off. And put this over here. And once again, it says hard, hard right there for a hard start kit. This tab goes right in this terminal over here. Just like that. And now all that's left is these two yellow wires. So both of these are to the run from the run winding on the compressor and the fan motor. So let's take this off. Usually the ones that are screwed in are the ones that come from the compressor. Whereas the ones from the fan, the wires from the fan, they usually just have the spade connectors where you just plug them in. So this is the fan. This guy right here is the compressor. Once again, I'll crimp down on this. Like that. This is the run, which is signified by R. That's only the only slot left. So we'll put that in here. It's not going in all the way, so let's loosen this up a little bit. There you go. Let's tighten it down. Like that. And now we only have the fan left. And just to triple check, the one from the fan, doo -doo 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 -doo, it simply goes also on this run section, but on a terminal tab. So that would go right over here. There you go. Sure switch wiring complete. Okay, so the power is back on. I have the sticker on the inside of the door put in. And all that's left is to test it. So I'm going to use this little test button. I'll press and hold it for like two seconds and then let go. Bam shakalaka. Compressor and fan both turned on, stayed on for about three to four seconds and that's what it's supposed to do. Well guys, and that is how to install an Emerson sure switch. I hope you found this video useful and if you had any questions, those were all answered. If you have anything else to say or comment or suggest about this whole procedure right here, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comment section below, as I was filming this video, my good friend George came by to say hello. Meet George. Say hello, George. I guess after this video, I'll have to have a chat with him and talk to him about his manners. And if you're still here and not... Come here, George. Good George. And if you're still... <laughs> and if you're still here... And if you're still here and not in the comment section... Come on, George. Cooperate with me, buddy.